Uh, I'm, my name is Georg Tremmel and together with Shiro Fukuhara I'm BCL and we uh, presented at uh, Cody Cultures Japan a common flowers white out or and we made a small city gardening workshop. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe you want to introduce, you've presented the project in Vienna already, just in one sentence, what is this dealing with? What? Mm. A common flower is about uh, the first genetically modified product which is aimed as a for an aesthetic pleasure and this is the blue carnation made by a Japanese, uh, quite a big Japanese company and what we do, we try to grow this carnation in our house, we try to break the carnation free from its commercial tail. And not even that, I think you also pass the knowledge on. Exactly, that's a very important part of the project. We learn, but we learn these technologies in order that we can distribute this knowledge and other people can learn it too. So we make like a learning experience to, in order to share it. But is it really that simple as you, as it seemed in the workshop that you just come up with things from the pharmacy or the baumarkt and? Yeah, so people actually call it uh, kitchen tissue culture or bathroom biology. So it's uh, it's quite simple. The only thing you you need to take care that uh, that this working space is rather clean. But otherwise, that's. Um, yeah, that's another important part of the project to kind of demystify the, the access to biotechnology. So uh -huh. to kind of to bring it down to an everyday level, and not something that is only done in labs or, or big companies. But nevertheless, there is a big legal issue involved too, because it's a matter of copywriting products. And exactly. These these are there's some gray areas in the in the, in the project which we are uh, uh, exploring right now. Uh, because uh, the company who made the flowers, of course, in order to commercialize and sell them, they had to gain permission to 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 to, to breed them and, and to sell them. So they have documents stating that they are not harmful, that they don't that they pose no risk to human life or animal life. So they are allowed to grow those plants in Japan and America, Europe, and the rest of the world. But the question is, are we also allowed to grow these plants? Well, you're not growing the same plant, are you? <laughs> well, we clone the plants, so it's, so it's a one-to-one -one copy of it. And this is the question, if we clone the plants and, well, copy it, is this a copyright issue? Maybe you're just copying a copycat. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so we call this kind of reverse biopiracy, because usually the companies go to rainforest and source the the materials there and then try to patent it, but we go to, to the commercial biotech and get our sources from there and release it. So, Okay, good luck and thank you for giving a short summary. Thanks. <laughs>